welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. Y'all know, favorite, favorite, crowd favorite map, crowd favorite map, people's favorite map, VL content. Before we go on, I'm streaming tonight in five hours. Catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash jetskiller adw. I'll be streaming this game, Vigor, obviously, for two hours. Come and join me five hours after this video has been released. Check the comment section for a pinned comment, and you will see it will say five hours or some other hourly rate. And then it will say, I'm streaming now. Click on that link, follow me on Twitch, so you'll be notified of when I'm going live. Now, here's VL content, and I spawn dead center of the map. Man, the container and this time safe are behind me. That, I don't want to say it's a bad thing, but it puts me on edge because I'm pretty sure a team spawns above me and to my left. I play this game too much. There's a team who came from, guess where, above me and to my left. These guys are on a mission. These guys are on a whole mission. Notice, they didn't turn around and look. Oh, going up this hill. What are they doing? They're watching the container. And so I'm going to watch them go up here. I'm going to scope in. And there goes one of them. And he stops moving right about there. All right, bet. Say less. Yes, that's tunnel vision, but don't worry, there's some more coming up. Now, I don't believe I got shot because that's his buddy. I believe I get shot because I'm a white clothed man running against a brown dirt de um path. But then I get shot at again as I jump through that bush. So I don't think he knew I was there until I got up and I ran. And I got up and I ran because we seen that that guy wasn't alone and his buddy is probably watching somewhere nearby as well. I think it was literally a coincidence that that's his buddy and a guy who was watching that exact angle at the same time. That's what I think. But now, I done relocated. I'm staying low because if that guy can see me running across the ridge over there to your left, then he should see me running over here near the plane as well. That's why I'm staying low. Now, his weapon did not sound like it, like it had a scope on it. Also, I don't see Glint either. The further I am away from him, the harder it, is, the harder it will be for him to hit me. He's probably prone with iron sights right now. Probably is, but I don't want to take any more precaution. We all know that we're not safe in this game until the very end. So, I'll we'll crawl all the way over here. Loot some stuff. Nothing is, well, there's that, but I decided it's not even worth it because it's too much time to get into the actual fuselage of the plane. And now I keep going. And then this happens. H bar T. Shooting off blocks on container. Giving away his giving away his position. Now I'm pretty sure he doesn't know that pretty much half the lobby is watching the said watching said container. I'm pretty sure he doesn't know that. But he's gonna find out. So, check this out. I'm crawling in this bush right here, waiting for a minute to see if there's anybody else on this side of the map.
Now, gunshots to my left, footsteps to my right. I didn't see any traces come from the mountain area. But I hear those gunshots, so that's definitely a duo who relocated to get, to get eyes on the container. You have no idea how close they are, but I'm going to spoil it for you. Y'all know that flat area next to the fireplace, right to uh, that lookout to my right? They're right there. And the guy coming out the container caught probably about three bullets from them. They expected me to keep going down that hill. You see they're looking in that area. That's why I stopped right here. That was definitely a failed ambush attempt, so that's definitely my fault. What's crazy is that 
dude seen me crawl into the bush, get on one knee into it, and then shot at the same bush because he's seen me go into it. That is skill. That is skill indeed. Now, keep moving. Keep leading him out into the open. I'm going to take cover on this hill over here. Nobody should be behind me. Everybody should be in front of me. If you're new to the channel, let me explain to you how I play this game. Number one, stealth. Stealth is my best friend. That's why I'm playing Splinter Cell right now. To re to go back to the roots of stealth with the man himself, Sam Fisher. And also Solid Snake and Raiden from the Metal Gear Solid series. Stealth is the name of the game for me. I don't do well in full-on engagements. I don't, because this game's shooting mechanics is a bit iffy. But as you have seen, or will see, in future and or past videos, I can somewhat hold my own in full-on gunfights. Somewhat. Somewhat. So my playstyle is this. Wait until they drop their guard, and give them one bullet. That one bullet should negate any future retaliation from my opposing party. That's the fanciest way I can think of, of saying, I'm going to shoot him in the head and end it right there. Because, like I said, I don't do well in gunfights. So, if I don't aim for the head, how am I going to kill them? And so, my reward here, reward here, is an SG-1. Now, I get the idea. I need to chill out for a minute. I need to chill out and watch this map. And you see, you heard... How the time safe is not open until now. Those guys must have been hella scared. So there's an airdrop on the other side of the map. And I'm waiting to see if this guy is going to turn around and take this exit that I want to take right here to my right. And it does not look like it. No, he's not. So, if you're wondering why am I not going for the exit that's down the map, number one, you see the radiation is coming from that way, and we just heard the time safe being unlocked, so there's definitely a team over there, and if anything, they are more likely to go for said airdrop rather than me. And two, I'm about to leave. Two headshots to my name, and a team encounter, evading a hailstorm of bullets. Yeah, so, I'm gonna leave. Bank this XP, bank the experience, well, XP and experience. Here's the difference. XP means, you know, in-game XP. Experience means I came out of this one alive. That's the experience. And number three, I got an SG-1 on my back. Even though I have like a shit ton of parts from, for them, or for this weapon, I don't mind getting another one. I don't mind at all. And so, that's it. That is this encounter. And that's how I play this game. It may not be the most exciting. It may not be the most audio auxiliary because you don't hear that many gunshots. But you'll hear one, maybe two, if I miss. But then I'll be the end of it. Because like I always say in all my videos, gunshots attract players. So why not give them the least amount of time to pinpoint your location by shooting exactly one bullet? And, you know, leaving it there. That's my reasoning. And so, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. There are consequences to being stealthy and playing the hit and run kind of style. Playing the hit and run style, meaning in team encounters, you can't go for the person's body because guess what? Their buddy is going to come back and try to kill you. So you got to hit and then you got to run. Or you got to hit, you got to ditch and then come back, get your reward and then keep moving. That's what I've been seeing recently in my play sessions. It's just low-key annoying, not gonna lie to you. I hope to see you in the next episode. Until next time, peace.